Imagine a busy battlefield filled with armored vehicles. The Bradley, resembling an armored Titan, unleashes its formidable 25mm chain gun, punctuating the air with fiery bursts. Alongside, the M113 stands robust and steadfast, carrying soldiers who are ready to jump out and secure important areas. Meanwhile, the Striker, swift and agile, strikes like a modern-day cavalry with its 105mm gun. These armored giants bring their own set of strengths to the battlefield, but what sets them apart from one another? How do they measure up in terms of firepower, versatility, and battlefield prowess? Join us as we delve into these military marvels, uncovering the distinctive features that make them the stalwarts of modern armed forces. Let's start by exploring a comprehensive comparison of these vehicles. In terms of design and protection systems, the Striker stands out with its Advanced Trophy Active Protection System, or APS. The trophy is designed to intercept and neutralize incoming threats, such as anti-tank guided missiles and rocket-propelled grenades before they reach the vehicle. This cutting-edge APS provides an additional layer of protection, significantly enhancing the Striker's survivability on the battlefield. The Bradley, however, does not come equipped with standard APS. It relies primarily on its aluminum armor enclosure for defense against small arms fire and shell splinters. While it may not withstand heavy anti-tank munitions, it provides substantial protection for its infantry carrying role. The M113 shares a similar philosophy, lacking an integrated APS, but offering adequate protection against small arms fire and shell splinters from its design and the situational awareness of its crew. When comparing these vehicles in terms of functionality, it becomes evident that each armored vehicle has its distinct purpose. The Bradley serves as a versatile armored personnel carrier, boasting both transport and combat capabilities. It accommodates a crew of three and up to six passengers, allowing for rapid deployment of infantry forces. Armed with potent armaments, it can engage both infantry and armored targets effectively. Its troop-carrying capacity, coupled with offensive firepower, positions it as a well-rounded solution for modern armed forces. The M113, in contrast, is primarily designed as an armored personnel carrier, with its primary function revolving around the safe and efficient transportation of troops. It can carry a crew of two and up to 11 passengers, making it a reliable option for troop deployment in hostile environments. However, its functionality is skewed more towards transportation than direct combat engagement. Same as Bradley, the Striker strikes a balance between transport and combat functionality. It serves as an infantry carrier with a crew of two and the capacity to transport up to nine passengers. Equipped with a 105mm gun, it offers substantial firepower, albeit not as formidable as Bradley's armament. When it comes to sheer speed and agility, the Striker leads the pack. Capable of reaching a top speed of 60 miles per hour, it outpaces both the Bradley and M113. This rapid mobility allows for swift deployments and dynamic responses to emerging threats, making the Striker an asset in rapidly changing combat scenarios. The Bradley exhibits commendable mobility, with a top speed of 38 miles per hour, ensuring its capability to traverse various terrains, from rugged landscapes to urban environments. 
While it may not match the lightning speed of the Striker, it remains agile and capable of keeping pace with armored counterparts like the M1 Abrams tank. In contrast, the M113, though robust, lacks the same level of speed as the Striker. It maintains a respectable top speed of 41 miles per hour, but isn't designed for rapid maneuverability. Its tracked configuration provides stability and reliability, but doesn't prioritize high-speed mobility. The M113 takes a back seat in terms of firepower. While it may be equipped with an M2 Browning machine gun, the vehicle lacks the powerful weaponry seen on the Bradley or Stryker. It relies more on the infantry it transports for engaging hostile forces. In contrast, the Bradley boasts formidable firepower with its 25mm chain gun, which is accurate up to 10,000 feet, allowing it to engage a wide range of targets, including infantry and armored vehicles. The addition of tow missiles further enhances its anti-tank capabilities, making it a versatile combat asset. Whilst the striker strikes a balance between Bradley's firepower and the M113's troop transport focus. Equipped with a 105mm gun, it can engage various targets effectively. However, its firepower falls short of Bradley's 25mm chain gun and tow missiles. The striker's armament places it in a versatile combat role that aligns with infantry support and light to medium armored engagements. Versatility on the battlefield encompasses a vehicle's adaptability to different roles and its capacity to perform various functions on the battlefield. In this scenario, the Bradley emerges as the most versatile among the three vehicles. Its ability to transport troops while maintaining robust combat capabilities allows for seamless transitions between roles. Whether it's engaging enemy armor or swiftly deploying infantry, the Bradley excels in multifaceted operations. In contrast, the M113 proves to be the least versatile, with its primary focus only on safely transporting troops to and from the battlefield. Conversely, the Striker offers a balanced level of versatility. It serves as an infantry carrier with substantial firepower, striking a middle ground between the transport-centric M113 and the combat-oriented Bradley. While it may not match the Bradley's troop carrying capacity, it provides a well-rounded solution for infantry deployments. So what distinguishes them from each other, and which one is more effective? In general, what sets the Bradley fighting vehicle M113 and Stryker apart are their distinct roles in areas of specialization. The Bradley shines in versatility and firepower, making it a formidable combatant while maintaining troop carrying capacity. The Striker excels in protection system and mobility, offering rapid deployment capabilities and agility on the battlefield. The M113, although reliable for troop transport, lacks the offensive firepower and versatility of its counterparts. The choice between these armored giants ultimately depends on the specific operational requirements and objectives of modern armed forces. While each vehicle has its strengths and weaknesses, which of them will be your choice and why? Let us know in the comment and thanks for watching.